Alright guys, you are welcome to another exciting video tutorial. Today we are looking at product and summation. We have learned earlier on that whenever we see a question of this nature, it is a nested loop and also the inner product depends on the outer summation. So let's see how we are going to write this script in GNU Octave. Ok guys. Let's start with the script writing, but if you are new to this lesson, kindly check out our video or lesson on summation to grasp the understanding of what we are coming to do now. First, let's initialize sum 1 to 0. And sum 1 is starting from 1 to 6. So say for m ranging from 1 to 6 and let initialized product to 1. I will explain this and product is starting from M minus one two M plus three. So in all, what are we expecting product to do? Say product should be equal to product times. The equation given, which is m square minus 2n. And our final answer should be equal to some 1 because some 1 plus total summation of products and someone should be our result okay let me explain further we are having product and sum so first we initialize the sum toward 0 and the sum is starting from 1 to 6 and we initialize the product to 1. Why 1? This is because the product is going to multiply the equation over here. So when we set product to 0, all this equation is going to be 0. So m is starting from 1. So 1 times 1 square minus 2 n. What is n? The loop is going to work the value of n over here and put the answer of n into this. So it's going to iterate starting 1 to 6. So start 1, 2, 3 to so it reach the sixth value of n then the loop stopped then it come and read this goes over here and here we said sum 1 where is going to store the accumulated value to sum 1 plus the product and sum 1 is the first sum then it print out the results but you can see that this for loop 
is inside another loop this one that's why we said it is a nested loop that's loop within an another loop so let's save this and run and see the final answer Let me save it as product. So let's run. Go to command win window to view. See, we are getting. this to be the answer so you see how it works and if you want you don't want this to show we can terminate it over here and rerun you see you are getting only from here to here So that's how this works. So let's verify our final answer on our calculator. Okay guys, this time around you are having two products as product 1 and product 2. First, let's initialize product 1 to 1. And product 1 is starting from 0 to 2. And let's initialize product two to one. I have explained this why it is one. So what are, are we expecting product 2 to do? So product 2 should be equal to product 2 times the equation given 2 exponent i plus j. And our final answer should be product 1, which is equal to product 1 times accumulated result of product 2 and should print out product 1. Okay, let me explain once again. So we are having two products, product one and product two. And for the first product, it ranges from zero to two. 
and the second one reduced from i plus 1 to 3 so first we said product 2 should be equal to product 2 which is 1 times 2 exponent i which is 0 plus j so this will continue to iterate until it reaches to i equals 2 after that then the loop start stop over here and come and continue from these quotes and over here we said for that one should be equal to product one times product two and print out the final result of what product one so let's save and run see you can verify this on your calculator to see the final answer yourself thanks for watching and i hope this video helps you kindly subscribe like and comment for more videos